Welcome to Kinder Tail Garden. Hello, everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Today we are reading Emma's Easter. The book is written by Lisa Bullard and is illustrated by Constanza Basaluzzo. Chapter One: Getting Ready. Do you know what day it is tomorrow? It's Easter. We get ready by decorating eggs. We dye them the colors of spring flowers. Easter is a spring celebration. It is always on a Sunday. See how I wrote my name on this one. Chapter two: Easter morning. I'm so excited that I can hardly sleep. Finally, it's Easter morning, and guess what? Some German settlers came to the United States about three hundred years ago. They seem to have brought the Easter bunny with them. The settlers' children found eggs from the bunny on Easter morning. U.S. kids have looked forward to Easter ever since. The Easter bunny left us baskets of candy. Jelly beans are my favorite. The Easter bunny also hid our eggs all over the house. We hunt everywhere for them. The U.S. president has an Easter egg roll every year. It takes place on the Monday after Easter. Families come to the White House from all over the country. They roll eggs with spoons and do other fun things. I find an egg in the bathtub. There's even one in Scout's ball, but I can't find my Emma egg anywhere. Finally, Mom says I need to get ready for church. There's an egg in my shiny new shoes. There's an egg in my fancy Easter hat. But still, no Emma egg. Where could it be? Some cities have Easter parades. The parade in New York City has become very famous. It started over 100 years ago. It is not a parade with floats and bands. Instead, people show off their new spring clothes. Many people wear funny hats. Chapter three: A church holiday. At church, we sing, pray, and listen to the Easter story. It's a story about Jesus. My family believes that God sent Jesus, God's Son, to save the world. But not all people like Jesus. Some of those people killed him. Jesus lived on Earth two thousand years ago. He died near the city of Jerusalem. That is in the country we now call Israel. Jesus' followers told other people about him. They started a religion called Christianity. My church believes that Jesus rose from the dead. We celebrate his new life on Easter. Mom says that's why eggs are part of Easter. Eggs stand for new life too. Easter is a church holiday for Christians, but it's a special day for other people too. They are happy about the new life that comes with spring. Chapter four. Where's that egg? After church, the whole family comes to a house. My relatives all bring food for Easter dinner, and Grandma has made lots of kue. That's a sweet Easter bread. Grandma says it's from Russia. Many different countries have their own special Easter breads. People in England eat hot cross buns at Easter time. Finally, our bellies are stuffed. Then we all look for my Emma egg. We can't find it anywhere. Grandpa says maybe Scout ate it for his Easter dinner. Mom sends me to bed after everyone goes home. She says egg hunting will have to wait until tomorrow. Then, can you guess what I found under my covers? That Easter bunny show is tricky. Thank you for watching. 